Hi, we are Sarah and Chad, and we just built a tiny home named Journey in order to travel around the country learning about life, love, and the art world. This video is all about our bedroom build. I want it that way. Tell me why. Nothing but a heartache. Welcome to our bedroom. So in the original plans that Chad had in the house, he actually had the bed suspended from the ceiling behind his desk and you were going to have to manually lift it up and lower it every day. It also was so wide that you wouldn't be able to walk when it was down and when it was up you had to walk with like a crick in your neck from the front of the house to the back of the house. He thought this was a great idea and so the whole time when we were starting the build until we got to that point I was kind of thinking through what are maybe some other options, how can I pitch this to him to go with maybe a different idea. And so I ended up pitching the idea of having the bed against the back of the house. I said it would take up less area and we could loft it like it is now. So we had extra storage down below. And then our living room space kind of got to be bigger and he could have some extra storage above the couch for binders and books and other things like that. Um, so eventually after some convincing, he went away, thought about it for a while, came back and this is the new vision that we executed for our bedroom. So we have the bed here. Underneath is the underbed storage and we have a big swinging door that opens up to the bulk of the underbed storage which has things like our luggage, it has our off-season clothes, some of them we have very few, um, it has our camping supplies, it has his um, lot log packs, it has his art supplies, it has some of his finished products as well as some of the materials to build his final products. Um, and yeah, just kind of basically odds and ends that don't fit anywhere else can fit in that bulk storage. We also have all of our shoes out here. Um, we can access all of them. They're two shoes deep, so that gave us some extra space for that. And then we have our laundry chute. So a part of the original design, the bathroom and the toilet section was going to be in this back corner. So the vent we built for the bathroom ended up doubling as the vent for the laundry room, which is great because some of the clothes maybe get stinky. Um, so we have that there. Then we can open and close it as need be. And we can open and close the laundry chute to be able to put the clothes in and out and then open the full door for when we need to take the basket to the laundry room. So above the bed, we have his and hers closets. So Chad has one side, I have the other side. They're about the same size. And we have all of our clothes stored up there. We have enough clothes for two weeks, basically. Two weeks of casual wear and two weeks of workout clothes. We also have a hanging clothes space. Chad and I kind of share that space, but he needed some extra space for his formal wear. So he ended up building a second hanging clothes space down underneath the bed. So we do have space for hanging clothes and longer and more formal items. So we have three overhead lights and we do have dimmers on those lights so we can have soft mood lighting if we want to. But we also built in some super cool LED soft reading lights 
for at night so we can switch off the overhead lights and we have these lights on our bed to be able to read or to be able to do stuff and then they are the switch on and off is right by our heads so we're able to turn that off without having to get up which is super awesome that is our bedroom if you liked our video go ahead and give us a thumbs up or hit subscribe button if you would like to follow along with our journey let us know in the comments below what your favorite part was or what part you would change Good job. Yeah? <laughs> All right. <laughs>